Hello and welcome back to another video. Uh, beginning, kind of beginning. Anyway, jokes aside. Um, today is a daily rest video. Uh, progressing in big widow. Uh, it's been. It was a, an amazing race. This is uh, like a video after the race. The first race was amazing, as I'm gonna say. But I don't wanna spoil it too much for you. But because uh, yeah, some things did happen, and uh, you get to see that if you stay uh, long enough. But um, yeah. Since the, the, there won't be a lot of uh, the, uh, National Cup or Manufacturer Series races going on soon, so I had to say that for the next couple of uh, days, uh, you're gonna see a lot of daily races and uh, like Warzone, because I did also a, lot, a couple of Warzone uh, Royals, the Rebirth. I'm not done the, the Battle Royale, but I'm mostly into Rebirth, so the C2 videos back to back probably, or like in the same, but um, yeah. Most of the time, hope you do enjoy the videos and uh, like the video and sub to the channel will be amazing and uh, see you to the next one. Peace. Hope you did enjoy that very insightful intro by myself. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, as I said, I'm going to be doing the, I'm going to be doing a lot of our nations come uh, races because the, the next ones are far, far away from, uh, like, not really close by, but yeah. That's it. But anyway, uh, jumping into Big Willow because this is also a rare, a rare gem. You know, you don't really get uh, this kind of race often. And the best card to use are the uh, Renault RSO1. So I didn't fancy it because it doesn't have straight, straight like speed. But uh, actually, I was going to go for my Lexus, my trusty Lexus. I did uh, try and uh, like try a warm up with the GTR, but it was a little bit too too much work to as in handling it or anything this truck so the Lexus was good for me and uh, okay sorry from the back which actually wanted to make two videos but um for this one accidentally made a qualifying up but that's later we'll get to that bridge we get there and uh starting off starting off from P14 actually like two, two people I think had a bit or they got disconnected and this was an amazing race because uh, anyway, let's go through the race as they start off right here all the way down in P14 Chasing down the BMW, the German, the French, and also the British guy there, and also a Finnish guy. There's a Anyway, turn one, okay, no drama, no people going off track. The BMW, I went a little bit actually wide, the BMW was a little bit slow. It was uh, kind of not, not really figuring out where it's going with the rail, left or right, but he I kind of went defensive there, yeah? broke a little bit uh, earlier than I expected, and on the outside, I took the position really great, as uh, it started off going well, like up, just open, and I just started to go through, look at that, that's amazing, yeah, all the way up to P10, because I had the Porsche went a little bit wide, this is the RSO1 I was telling you about, the Renault, it's good in the corners, but it's not really that great in the slow strike, so straight line speed, but that's why it's lacking, but this is mostly uh, fast speed, uh, it is a lot of straight, like there's a lot of uh, top speed, run, like sectors, so, and this corner right here as well, like I, have no, I wasn't really, really comfortable with it because the sun was really, like really, really shining on that corner, so like it was like a lot blind, you see that, like I told you. He doesn't have straight line speed. He had a good exit on that corner, but uh, he doesn't have the chance to overtake because I have a Swiss line speed. Move on to the right side. As the BMW, the Italian there, goes a little bit slow off the corner, probably he's the one he didn't have a good press to start of a race. But I'm starting to have a good start. I'm already in P8 all the way from P14. That's what, six positions gain. A little bit squally on the top of the hill, I almost went overboard, and that's not what we want. And I uh, just getting a look at behind to see if there's anyone close by. I don't know, the tires are kind of a little bit still cold, but uh, yeah, still trying to get them on. Oh, and they're defending a lot, so they're giving me a lot of uh, breathing space. Purple, yeah, okay, go on, it's purple in the second lap. So just trying to catch up to the seven over there in front of me. And actually, also this part over here. If you need to break a little bit early and then kind of like pause it, see the sun is so bright, you can't really figure out the right road. Oh, some of us picking up, somebody else is out of the road, like kind of out of the, the road, which you're not supposed to expect that. 
going in for the move at this dangerous corner. Oh, it's just seen him. He just went right there. That's not great for him. Oh, the Porsche right there behind me trying to catch up, which is actually another kind of car I would have kind of chosen because also it's great on this, um, on this track. And I think the last time I was on this track on GT3 cars so was way back in 20. Because that's when there was a GT3 FI in uh, manufacturer series before I chose to stick with the uh, Lexus because I was in Portugal with that. Anyway, still going on. Not really. Actually, if you do like the cinematics, I, think I like the video, it's amazing because this game has really nice drone shots and uh, the cinematic uh, replays. Oh, the Spaniard is wide. Oh, no, don't come back, don't join back. Oh, it's a good thing he didn't. And I think yeah, just looking at the map right there, he hit the, the Porsche, the British guy who was driving right there behind me. Because suddenly there's a big gap between me and the Italian, actually the Italian is the one who was behind the master. And that's, was, was, that's was something that should be happening. Like, we should like wait, oh, somebody else is wide. Come on. Oh, he did quit, I think he did quit. Oh, he's got reset. Now he's behind and he's gonna be overtaken by the Italian for sure. But, uh, oh, not really. In a, in a minute. Anyway, I did. I was catching up with the guy before, and I, that's a mistake I did. I went a little bit. I pushed the car too wide beyond its limits, and uh, I did go off track, which made my tires really dirty and uh, didn't have enough momentum to catch up with them. They really just pulled away, and uh, yeah, I just had to slow down even more to the corner so that I don't get, uh, you know, how can I put it? like to lose my race right away. So finishing five, happy 11 positions, that's great racing right there. That's it. That's what we do expect on these kind of races. But anyway, finish the first race, uh, actually nine positions. Okay, so is it nine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my math wrong. But anyway, yeah, I was just minding my business, just uh, trying to figure out that corner because that corner, is, if you get that corner right, like you'll have a great, great run. And I forgot that I'm doing the point I was in qualifying and I made a qualifying run accidentally and this is where I realized it as you see me just driving off the track I was like come on I wanted to start make this video like to start from behind like, see how I can go like three videos like the, the one that like the one I did in St. St. Croix with the rebellion um, I'm gonna explain it anyway because I'm gonna turn on the mic like right here okay I'm just gonna turn on the mic for this I didn't mean to make a <laughs> A qualifying lap, I wasn't even trying to, and that, that's a 113.1. I wasn't even trying to, I was just trying to make the corner because. Okay, let me show you. If I don't know if I'm. I don't know if it's going to allow me to. Come on. Really? I don't know if I'm gonna get there in time, but I wanna show you something because the, where the sun is, I think this is a race in the evening. And right on this corner over here, the last deep, the last first, uh, is there a right hander, yeah? The sun is just beaming straight on that corner, so you can't really, it's kind of like a blind corner. So, you see. As I was saying, you can't really see that corner well because this the sun is kind of blinding when you're coming in for from far behind. So, but anyway, I need a 113.1, so that probably is gonna make me into top five for sure. But the first race, the previous race I just watched is uh, it's, been, it's amazing, it's amazing, yeah. Oh god damn. But anyway, I'm gonna switch off and leave it on to the commentary. Uh, back here with you starting in p12 as it was thinking that i'm gonna get up high that that, that qualifying lap right there just because i finished well on the previous lap starting from behind and i made a qualifying lap i get like into a really good lobby like a lobby that has really quick people you see they're all like from p1 to p17 or oh, to p10 was 111 and i was in the 113 so starting all the way to p12 so it's not really that bad i can't complain but um, 
still I hope I hope so high or so low <laughs> but anyway the stuff you can behind me is coming in real quick that AMG is coming is, is uh, looking angry oh the Swiss car is off did he? Okay, I, don't, I don't think he killed the guy oh so that we can pass through probably I was thinking maybe it did what happened to the British guy and it happened and they're looking for him with the Spaniel Javier is kind of not really comfortable with the 4 GT because he's supposed to be all the way to full throttle up and that's like to the end of that long long like a right corner and uh, going down here yep I don't know I can't remember the, all the flags right now I'm kind of uh, Jolting four flags, they're like the names and everything, but most of them I can't remember. And as again, that driver went wide. You know, suppose it, it is very easy to go wide on that one, on that really blind, right? Like it's a, it's kind of like a hairpin, but a really long hairpin. But anyway, already trying to go for the inside, but the 4GT has the better, it's supposed to like go wide and come in. The GT, the GTR truck struggling for drift almost went out to the grass which is not supposed to happen. The 4 GT and the GTR trying to drive ways down into the first corner. I think the GT4 GT were past really a half year is in front. Again, this is something this is another car that you don't really see that much. They are turns of so probably somebody else also like you don't see the next four yellow flag you just see that probably somebody I think somebody kinda of almost went out. and uh <coughs> oops sorry him a little bit, they didn't mean to, but uh, as I was saying, this is another car that you don't really see like people using. Also, you don't really see a lot of people, like I'm usually most of the time the odd one out using it, trying to go in for the launch. Not really gonna happen. Oh, don't go wide, close, very close. People are getting in circle there. Nicely done. Oh, that was really, really hard crunching right there. If I if I did lose it there, my, my heart would have sunk all the way down to the stomach for sure. But anyway, so far so good. Okay, gained a lot of green. Uh, oh, oh, the GTR comes back for the launch. I didn't even see that. As you see, I told you, it wasn't really that uh, comfortable, that corner right there. And as you see, they're going, going drag racing down with the GTR. I'm quick, but not that really quick. The GTR just taking me comfortably oh and I followed the GTR into the grasslands into the mud trying to become I don't know an excavator or something but I do manage to save it uh, I don't think the GTR saved that still I'm still in P7 still in my you can see they are still struggling with their grid because of the dirty tires the dirty tires here will last for like a few more than enough corners they are almost still struggling the tires are still scratching over for life. Oh, the Swiss guy coming back in for the lunch. I don't know why he did that, but anyway. It's slow on that corner. You're supposed to just dip down, coast around the corner, and then follow up through the, like, the hill. Like, you don't need to slow down more than enough. Just, just a slight touch of the brakes, and then turn in, a gear down, and then a gear up, just to make the car rotate. And again, like I said, if you just blink, just go not not careful you just go wide without even try and so far so good the race was again been amazing kind of the battle was in the heat of the battle and uh, not really much that happened because uh, you know trying to get in front of people like that and nothing really much happened as you see here uh, some people okay this guy went wide waiting for almost everyone to pass by but then kind of join him i did leave the the RSO1 behind, like he did made a mis make a mistake. He did work go wide again. He did things right here, and uh, he did fall back really much. And it was another great race for me, trying to catch up with the Russian in front of me. And again, this is where I really kind of figured out uh, the corner, even though I didn't take it to the best of my ability. It was still, it was still a good way to take the corner. And I didn't end up in P6, so that's another one. 12, 6. From 12 to 6 so that six positions came uh, not really bad racing but really good racing again now this is where it gets a little bit tricky because i think i was getting too comfortable and actually not really like really much concentrating on the last part the last corner like there you have to like, like really concentrate on your 
the timing of the cornering, the timing, the timing to to get the car into rotating. It was great. I think start off amazing. Still in P4D, some people just taking advantage of the mistakes people are doing. It's still, it's still with the Russian here. Uh, the Super also is a new person. The Belgian is new. The, the Pojo there in front of me, he was still in the same way in this race. But then, here's where it uh, started going down here for me. I stopped, I just looked away for a second, just looked at the map, at the, at the radar, if there was somebody. And I get a 1.5 second penalty for hitting the wall. The Belgian in front of me does a very bad penalty. And I, yeah, I just have to reach for it because, I don't know, it didn't just seem really right. And again, the second one, the second uh, race, we do find up with the same uh, German guy from before. He was a little bit slow here, as I say. It is, if you don't take this corner correctly, you, will, uh, you lose a lot of time. He breaks too much. You see, the, you, you, can, you can power you can power off on actually very early and take the, the corner correctly as the, the driver there saves my life from spinning round and reach quickly. But then again, look at this what happens over here. It's 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 not the best race. I don't know what, what happened. Like, I don't know my concentration went a little bit too low or something like that. But later at, at the end of lap two, as I say, my, my concentration you just have to be like full eyes on the world. I went for the and that wasn't really the, <laughs> the greatest time to how can I put it? Like for my morality, like getting comfortable with this game. I just had two good races and the next two races were just like I don't know, a lot of lamakamalaki to say a lot of I don't know. I just had to go down to New York, fly to New York, take a breath of fresh air. At the end, under the bridge and uh, like just taking the scenery calm myself down and then go back and uh, okay talk to my manager again I'm not gonna do that again and uh, did another qualifying lap uh, did the one twelve point one, which was still great but not the greatest still people are doing 110 111 so still people are quick and uh, this is another great race after all the fresh air just went back to another race and uh, starting off in P10, which is great, uh, top 10, I'd say it's a good points, good uh, driver points. Those uh, two rage quits did cost me like what, 10,000 points so far. I don't know if I can gain them, like 10,000 points in this, but uh, I haven't even checked the ratings yet so far. But because probably I'm up there, probably, probably, and I'll check it later after this. But, uh, First of all, the Subaru again decides to be an excavator and uh, goes off road again. The Porsche still cold tires, overshoots his corner, ends up in the hill over there. Can't really say much of that. Another another person makes a mistake on that corner again. Just three positions gained. People just taking advantage of people's mistake. Like you have to like just keep it calm. Don't sweat it a lot and uh, a lot of things. It will just work in your way. Another person loses it there, goes beyond the barrier. I don't know if he's gonna take somebody out there, but uh, already up in the P6. The Porsche right here again. I know this was just a, a good way to tell me that just keep on the driving line, keep on the pressure, not too much pressure. Just tell them, you know, just show them that the Lexus boys is still there, they're still doing the work amazing. And forwarding out to the beginning of that fight because I did with this uh, group of head of us uh, right here. P1 was already gone, so the, these two uh, Renault, right? The Renaults are so one right here. As I say, I was telling you, they are good in the corners, but not good in the straights. So in the straights, I was catching up with them like, really, really quickly. But in the corners, uh, not, not really the best. Oh, actually, they were pulling away, uh, I'd say. But in the straights, not so much. Yeah, I decided to go on for the inside, because they were really, really fighting, defending a lot. I do take the Russian, I try to go for the cutback right here, as you see there, I have really the speed, the acceleration is there, but oh, in the corners, it's just right there, parking it at the apex, I try to go for the cutback here, but parked it at the apex, and I had really nowhere to go, so I just had to see if we can go for a drag race today, 
last band over here. Here's the inside, the shorter part of the track, and uh, yeah, as you see, we're just falling away. I'm going to, because I'm taking the longer side of the track. Break a little bit early, don't go wide, don't mess it up, as the guy in P2 messes it up, and we end up in a podium to the end of the video. Hope you did like the video, and uh, look at that. All the way up to P3 for P10, so seven positions stayed, which is amazing. But anyway, as I was saying, if you like the video, like to the channel would be amazing a sub the channel would be amazing and uh yeah see you in the next video peace